So today I'll be showing you how to make a hair clip accessory for your Vroid avatar in Unity. And we'll be making what's on my head right now. I've got a four leaf clover shape, but you can make it any shape you want to. It could be like a heart shape or whatever. And this is using Unity, no need to use Blender or anything. We'll be using something called Pro Builder in Unity. Okay, so there's a lot of videos on, on this on YouTube already. But if you want to add accessories to your avatar, you need a Unity package called UniVRM. So what you do, you just download that package from the GitHub link and drag it into your project. And make sure it's the right... Um, you, you're on the right version of Unity. I'm on 2018.4.30 right now. And I already have that set up in my project. So next is to drag in your VRM model. So the one I want to add an accessory to is... Where did I put it? Oh. Here it is. And then you drag that file into your project and wait a thousand years for it to import. And then I'm going to add this to the hierarchy or just drag into the scene. And what I like to do just to make it easier to work with it, I go to the transform. So here's the transform. It's this thing right here. And click reset oh it's not showing up but basically click on the little cog wheel here and click reset and it should zero out your game object yay to make the um hair piece to make the hair piece i will be using pro builder well if you go into your package manager in the unity registry there is pro builder and just click install that So after I've imported Pro Builder, we should be able to open up Pro Builder by going to um, Tools. There's Pro Builder and click Pro Builder window. Okay, so I'm going to make a four leaf clover clip. So I will be using new poly shape here. And I don't need it to be perfect, so I'm not going to trace over anything. I'm just going to do this freehand. But I am going to use the grid on the ground to make it a little easier. And I'm just clicking this middle button so it goes into isometric perspective so that um, it'll be easier to create an even looking shape. So here I'm going to try to click around and make a four leaf clover-ish shape. Alright, and then this green little um vertex gizmo thing should show up which will let you extrude it so since it's a hair clip i don't want to extrude it too much i want it to be fairly thin so i'm gonna get out of isometric perspective there and uh it, it's easy to adjust these values later so no need to worry too much and always organize your files so i'm gonna rename this or the clover clip. So Pro Builder has several options. This first button here is for object selection and it lets you move an object. And this last button here is for face selection, so it lets you select faces. So I'm just going to move this object to where, to where my character's head is located. So I want this to be roughly right here. I think it would look pretty cute right there. And then I'm going to match the rotation. So again, we can change the rotation in the transform area here. Here it is, rotation. And um, I always forget which rotation I have to change, so I just test each of them. <laughs> 
like a really good game dev, yeah. So it's definitely not that one. Maybe it's X. And I usually just type in 90 to test it. Yeah, I definitely want it to rotate down. And then it's probably this as well. Yeah. So then when we click on this object here. Oh, so we're zoomed out. So the way to zoom back into the object in, in the scene is just click the F button on the keyboard. And here we go. Now, W is for transform and... E is for rotate. That's what it was. E. So I'm going to rotate this to the rotation uh, roughly I want. And W for transform. Oh, okay. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it is still too um, thick. So... The easy way to change that is to change its scale. So the shortcut key for changing scale is R. And I'm just going to change the scale this way so it's thinner. Just adjusting things so that it looks how I want it to. And I want it to be stuck on but it's clipping into here so I can try to rotate it. But the problem is, um, it doesn't look as good from the front, right? So instead, actually, I'm just going to cheat and make it thicker. Sometimes it's faster just to redo things, you know? So, let's see. What I'm doing, what I'd be doing, I'd be doing, um, I'm going to go here. And copy the transform component. Copy component so we have the rotation and the position. And then I'm going to create another object. <laughs> another Pro Builder object, but I'm going to draw it in the proper shape this time. Disable that. Oh, it's okay. I mean, could be a little more even. Base component values. And drag it out a bit. Should be in the same position as the other object was. And then I can delete this old one. Next, we need to attach the object onto your avatar. So we do this by parenting the object by dragging it under the object we want it to be parented to. to. To attach anything to your avatar, you want to make sure it's in the right place here. So if you try to put it underneath, your avatar is going to tell you that you can't because this is a prefab. So what we're going to do, right click on this and click unpack prefab completely. Try to parent it to the head. So I'm going to go here. It's in spine, chest, upper chest, um, neck, and then head. So I'm going to drag this right here into head. Oop, didn't do it properly. Here it is. And then I'm going to change the material. So I'm going to make a new material for this thing. Click, create, right click, and then create. And then material, let's call it hair clip material, sign the color will be black, no metallic, the smooth smoothness is up, I'll set it to albedo, and drag this onto this. Ta-da! Yay! So, it's important to use the Tune Shader. I'm gonna click into the material. And right now we're using the Standard Shader, so... If you imported the VRM package properly, you should have VRM sh here under the shaders. So click 
in this drop down menu, go down to VRM and select M Tune. And so now it's using the M Tune shader, and everything should be fine and dandy and happy and perfect. So I'm going to try to export this um, again, and let's see what happens. To export this, click on avatar you want to export. And go to VRM, export uni VRM. Well, if, if there's an error here, you should just type in the version number. Look, look, look. Whoop. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> look. Okay, it works. And the following are some things you don't want to do. And this will make your um object turn out badly so that it won't properly parent and stick to your avatar and we want this to be attached on top of the hair so go to hair and then your hair layer and drag it underneath hair uh, <laughs> so the material is wrong Hold that If I rotate the camera, it parents, but if I move, it um, doesn't parent parent to me. Yeah, but if I rotate, it works. So I need to fix that somehow. So I think the issue is I put it under the hair and because the hair moves around, it doesn't really know where to stick to. In relationship to the hair right so this is the wrong place to parent it also the material the material is weird i should use a tune shader instead because a tune shader is what i'm using for the rest of myself but i use the the unity built-in shader which doesn't work well that's it for the video thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to just ask me in the comments and please subscribe and like this video for the youtube algorithm and i hope to see you around good luck